daily dose of tomorrow's workout. Again, my home studio, right? I'm working with what you got because that seems only fair. Our warm up for tomorrow is going to be 30 single under. So if you have a jump rope at home, great, use it. And um, again, if you don't have it or you're in an apartment, right, 30 single unders jumping in place. If you want to use the wrists as if you were jump roping, please do that. 10 front raise um, doesn't have to be a ton of weight. But if you remember our 18 pound backpack from yesterday, I can come in and just do 10 front raises with my object and then five broad jumps. So broad jumps, we're not necessarily worried about the distance that you go. We just wanna have our feet starting in that neutral position underneath our hips. Hips are gonna go back from there. We'll jump open, land in the heels, let the knees stay straight or even out versus letting them kind of crash in on you. Five broad jumps, so 30 single unders, 10 front raise, five jump, three rounds. That's your warm up. As always, at least, well, not as always, but at least for the time being, we're gonna have an equipped workout and then our unequipped workout. So 21, 15, nine, front squat. If we have a barbell, right, we wanna make sure that that weight stays nice up in the shoulders. Um, if we've got a broom, right, we're gonna use our neck to hold that in place. Pull-ups, if we have access to a pull-up bar, awesome. Some of us will not. So 21, 15, nine, front squat pull-up. We're then immediately gonna transition into a nine, 15, 21. Using that same barbell that we use for the front squat, we're gonna do a power clean. So coming off of the ground, up to the shoulders, and then a box jump. So one is gonna go down, one is gonna go up. Now, many more of us are in this unequipped category. So we're gonna keep that same 21, 15, nine. We're gonna find an object of choice. So I've got my 18 pound rucksack here. So I'm gonna try and think about coming underneath the side so I force my elbows to stay in nice and tight. Hips crease the knee for that front rack, front squat. And then instead of our pull-ups, right? I've got a chair pull-up on there. I actually realized that I don't have a chair. Right, we have bar stools that I can't really get under, um, but I don't really have a chair, so I will try and link to a chair pull up um, in the athlete section of Sugar Wad if you want to see that, um, as well as I'll try to put it in the YouTube as well. So, if we don't have somewhere to do pull ups, we're then going to come in with that same odd object that we use for our front rack and pull into the chest. So, an upright bent over row with our object of choice. If we are using a lighter object, we can always increase that to 42, 30, 18, right? So put in a little bit more volume. We're then gonna go 21, 15, nine. So that one's gonna start tall and go down as well. The object floor to chest. So essentially I'm gonna work on a power clean from the floor. So I'm gonna take my backpack and I'm gonna lay it on the floor. I'm gonna grab it any way I can and come up into that front rack position, back down to the floor. The straps are not ideal here, so I uh, may actually would go, let's see, straps towards the top. Let's see if that helps. Right. So you gotta kind of work with what we got. And then our box jump, if we have stairs in our home, are a beautiful tool because we can come in Right, we can use them to step up. We've got a low step up, right? So jumping up to that first step. If we're feeling really frisky, we can go to the second one. Right, spatially, I'm not all that comfortable going more than two steps. Um, again, not ideal, but it's what we've got. If we're not in a place where jumping is a thing we wanna do, um, we can certainly do step ups as well. So 21, 15, nine for both of those. And then for our drop chest stretcher, um, we want to find, uh, like in here, I've got a ledge, which is a great height, um, a tabletop, like a kitchen table, a counter would be great. So both arms are going to come out in front of the chest. From here, I'm physically going to lock the elbow out and just drop the chest through. So if I even just come down onto this lower little kid's table here, 
I can come in and drop my chest down and through. And then we're gonna do one minute of that. I'm gonna lower this just slightly so that you can see the thread the needle. But we're gonna come in tabletop position. I'm gonna literally thread one arm through that hole and then hold for a minute to the left, come up, hold for a minute to the right, and we're gonna do that for two rounds, and that's gonna be today's workout. Big thing, guys, that's gonna happen here is that things are going to be imperfect, right? We need to remind ourselves that this is not about making major gains. It's not about losing a bunch of weight, right? Right now, we're in survival mode and the human body is designed to move. And so that's what we're trying to provide every day. It's just a little bit of movement every day. It's gonna be imperfect, that's okay. So that's today's work. We'll have more for you tomorrow. If you have questions, reach out to me. Please, bug me, I've got the time, I need to fill it, bug me. <laughs>